What's up guys, MC Stu here. And today we're going to uh, take a look at some of the news here. There's gonna be multiple videos. Um, I'm gonna hit some of these things individually, um, but I wanted to start with this one and get it out of the way. Um, I might not even post it. We'll see how it looks at the end because I'm, I'm a little bit uh, upset, but let's go ahead and jump into it and see what we got going on here. All right, so we have a ton of changes. This was a huge update that was made to the game. I think overall, um, I'm pretty excited about you know getting the new content, the changes to the fleet. Um, there, there's just a ton of good stuff. Um, so I, I wanted to kind of break these videos up because there's a part in this, and I know uh, Casual SABs covered this as well this morning on his live stream and then has a pretty good breakdown on all the different updates. Again, I'm going to break these up into a couple separate uh, videos here. Um, but the reason I wanted to talk about this separately is because it kind of ties into something I was alluding to on my stream this week where I was kind of regretting what I decided to do with my, my event campaign reward on my free-to-play um, so I have been trying to be able to build, put together a build completely free to play over the past couple of years that could be a min max top end, uh, build. And I, I think it's pretty close to being there. I think the max record I've got on it is 1.3 mil. Um, there's much higher records, but you know, th that, that's an extremely high record for a completely free to play build. And with being able to add additional traits and things like that, it could go even higher. And so my challenge for myself, because this is a lot of what I like to do on my main account to see if I can get to that level without spending a dollar on the game. So this year I decided to go with the Grissom and also with the, oh, what's the other one? The Terran Defiant. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. And I, the Grissom, um, I do have a side character, so I was going to use it on there, but it's definitely not my first choice for a side ship that I would pick. But the console that it has on it, the space membrane, is very, very good for kinetic-based uh, ships. So I went with that, and I went with the Adamant, and that's the name of the ship, uh, for the Ag Agony re Redistributor. And so prior to seeing these updates, I was kind of going back and forth because to really min-max that I need a couple more promo ships and things like that, which is going to take years and years and years. So I was already questioning, is that really the right way to go? If, you know, if you're a free-to-play player, do you want to be trying to min-max like that without buying some of those things? And so I was really, you know, thinking about maybe I should have went more down the Cannon Scatter Volley route, um, you know, and, and things like that. So I was kind of struggling with that a little bit um, in the decision that I made, but I made the decision. It's what I had wanted to do initially and right or wrong. That's just the way I was going to go. Um, so we wake up this morning and we get this huge, you know, content update um, put on us here, which again, overall is uh, I'm really pumped about it. But if we look down in the general notes here, um, there's, there's two things that caught my attention that I, I have a big problem with, and I'll, I'll explain ab about it a little bit more. Cause it's not just, it's not just that it affects like the build I was going to do. I understand games have to balance things, especially if they're broken or whatever it may be. So what they did, and I'm just going to focus on these two particular consoles. There's two other ones that I think are pretty significant, but we'll talk about why that's not included here in what I'm going to rant about. Um, so the Agony Redistributor and the, um, uh, what is it, the Neut uh, Neutronic uh, Eddy console from the weather ship um, have both been nerfed pretty severely. Um, so the Agony Redistributor nerfed, basically probably not something I'm going to use. Um, and my issue is, is that if it's broken, I understand it's got to be fixed. I don't know what's the right way to handle it. Again, I'm, I'm kind of upset, so I'm, I'm just kind of rambling on here about kind of how I'm feeling. But the my issue is that I picked this ship three days ago for that particular console. Now, granted, it was free and it was from, you know, from the event. So it's not like I lost money, but there's many people that have paid money for this ship specifically for this console. You've paid $30 for it and you paid it be specifically for the console. You might fly the ship because it is a great ship as well. So there is that. Um, but the main, you know, driving factor behind those that purchased the ship for the console is now basically null and void. Had this came out or I waited a few more days to claim my, my, my prizes from that event, I would not have picked this ship. I purchased this ship on my main account 
for this console. I love the skin. I use it on the legendary one. There's some other perks, but I would not have paid $30 if it wasn't going to further the way that I like to pay, play the game. And maybe this is more of a buyer's beware kind of a thing, you know, that we just need to accept. I mean, it is what it is. Um, but you know, if you're purchasing ships for whatever reason past or other than just the way it looks, and many of you do that, and that's totally cool. I've done that on occasion as well. I just want to fly it. Anything could change about that ship's trait, that console, those kinds of things. And you might find that you spend money in a lot of cases, hard earned money. $30 is a lot of money to, it's a lot of money to me. I can buy a lot of things with $30 and, you know, to purchase something. And after the fact it's changed, especially when it's far after the fact, um, it is kind of an issue. Now I know there was issues with the console where you could stack it and things like that. Um, and the fix that they did does fix that, but you can still stack it. What they did is they basically just nerfed the maximum amount of damage it can do. And they basically nerfed it into the ground to where it's just, especially on higher end runs, it's, it's not even going to be worth running on the ship anymore. Um, so that, that, that really irritates me partially because I, you know, I should have just waited, but how did I know? <laughs> I didn't know that that was going to happen. On top of that, they've also nerfed the weather control ship. Now this was a free ship from a rise event, uh, either two or three years ago. I actually missed it. Um, they had added it to the mud store, um, not too long ago. Um, and it is ex extremely expensive, not on sale. It's like $170. I have a couple friends that purchased it when, when it went into the mud store, it was on sale. So it was, you know, it was cheaper than that, but it was still like a hundred bucks or more. And they didn't buy that. They were never, ever going to fly that ship. They wanted that console because that console was very, very good for EPG builds. And it'd been in the game for, you know, two or three years. It'd been in the game quite a while. All of those people that, that purchased that ship for that console threw their money away unless they find you know some other reason that they just want to fly the ship itself um there's still I, i've seen um some of the parse data and stuff for the the agony console and so i want to caveat i have not seen any data on the neutronic uh, eddie's console yet either so i don't want to go too far down that rabbit hole because i don't know how bad they made it i don't know if it's as bad as what they did to the agony console but um, the fact that you're going to sell items for very large dollar amounts and then you're going to change them in significant ways um, to me just doesn't seem to be right. And I don't know what the right answer is, guys, because I know that I know sometimes things don't work the way they're supposed to and they need to be fixed. And I understand that. But it's just kind of ridiculous in the case of the, the, the weather control ship that we're talking years and years later. It's been added now into the mud store for real money and a lot of money. I mean, it's extremely expensive. People buy it for that specific console. I mean, that's, that's why people use, you know, get that ship is for the console. And then the console is then nerfed. I understand if it had came out and two or three months later, they put out a post, say, hey, this is OP. It's broken. It's not working the way that it was supposed to. We're going to be fixing this. And personally, I would have appreciated that same kind of thing with the Agony console is put it out in one of the known issues in the blog post. I mean, I read those. I report on those. We can make people aware that this console either one of them is not working as it should, meaning they're going to be doing something to it. It's a known issue. And that makes the community aware of, you know, needing to think about maybe you still buy, you know, the adamant because it's a cool ship. It's a good ship, but maybe it wasn't the ship you needed for, you know, the kind of builds that you're doing or whatever. And you wanted it for the agony console. You are now aware that there's going to be something coming down the pipeline because there's a known issue with it and that's going to change. So buyer beware. I think at a minimum, that would be nice if we could see that that kind of thing from, you know, from the devs here, but we didn't get that. I've basically wasted a, a coupon. And to be honest, I wasted $30 on my main account and I'm, I'm, I'm not real happy about it. Um, I, I just don't think it's right. Um, again, I do understand that things have to be balanced. I just think there's, there's better ways to go about at least communicating, just communicate it, communicate it prior. As soon as you know, you know, you're going to do this stuff. I'm assuming they didn't, you know, decide they were going to make these adjustments and do it all yesterday, right? This stuff's been in the works, put it in the known issues section so that we know what's going on so that we don't go spend our hard earned money on things that aren't going to be what we've purchased, what we've agreed to and giving you our money, um, you know, days or months later. Uh, I think that would be the right thing to do. And I, I, I really hope in the future that, you know, they, they take that advice and, and just, I, I don't see any downside to doing that. You know, uh, maybe that hurts sales a little bit. I, I don't know guys, but 
I, I just it just really kind of rubs me the wrong way. I, I'd been thinking about this all day at work, whether or not I was going to make a video right when I started reading it. But I was like, you know what? I need to just wait <laughs> and chill out. Um, so I hope this doesn't come across the wrong way. I'm not trying to crap on anybody here. I just don't think that this kind of thing is the right way to do business and run these kinds of things, you know. Uh, let us know it's coming down, coming down the pipe so that we can make good decisions with, you know, the, the money that we have, you know, money, money doesn't grow on trees. We love this game. I'm fine with supporting it, but this kind of thing makes me really question whether or not I want to spend money in this game it, it is what I'm buying going to be what I'm buying tomorrow. And when things like this happen, the answer is I have no idea and, and potentially no, it, it might not be. Um, so that's my thoughts on it, guys. I just wanted to get that out. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to post this or not, but I, I think it's important. I mean, that just some of this gets out again, you know, I, I don't want to be disrespectful. I don't want to be, you know, I'm not trying to poop on, you know, the guys that make the game or any of that kind of thing. I understand, you know, jobs are hard. We all got jobs. They're all hard. I understand, you know, but I think that it would be a very, very easy thing to just add in some extra communication. They put patch notes out every week. Let us know, you know, you don't even have to tell us what's happening. Just tell us, you know, we know there's an issue with this and you can expect some kind of changes coming down the future. So then when I go to look at these kinds of things, I can make an informed decision about what, uh, what I'm buying. I run a small business myself. Uh, I've been in business for 10 years and this kind of thing would not fly with any of my customers with what I sell and the services I provide. Um, so hopefully we can see some changes like that going forward. The rest of this patch, I'm, I'm super pumped about. This has really kind of hurt me all day long. So I wanted to just get this out of the way and then uh, we'll move on here in the next couple videos going over some of these other updates because I am pumped about that and excited for them. Um, I just would love to see this fix. So I won't keep beating the dead horse, guys. Uh, sorry for the rant, but I, I just needed to get it off. Let me know what you guys think. Please keep it respectful. And as always, uh, I appreciate you guys uh, watching the videos. Have a good one. Hey guys, appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, ring the bell, and sub to the channel for the latest news updates and how-to guides.